I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. The gloom is here and it is not going anywhere for a little while. In fact, it is already starting to impact our air quality a little bit in the Spokane area. We'll continue to see this calm, stagnant, cloudy, and chilly pattern through Thursday. And then a change that's going to be quite notable is it's going to bring some snow to end the week. Our air quality has been sitting in the moderate range all Sunday long. And we expect it to stay that way over the next few days. Yeah, we're stuck in it. This is a very kind of midwinter type of pattern that we are seeing where we have these inversions, warm air on top of the cold air that's stuck down in the valleys and lowlands. And that means the fog, the clouds, and the air pollution just sticks around. It doesn't go anywhere. It also means that we usually end up with some very chilly days. And that's exactly what we've got. Our temperatures in the morning actually end up being a little bit warmer than they would in a clear night. But they're still pretty chilly in the mid-20s. And look at these high temperatures I've got over the next four days. Yeah, not all that warm at all. In fact, really should be staying just kind of in that or right around freezing. We're a little bit below that mark. So let's talk about that transition, right? The next big thing in our forecast is going to be some snow moving in over this cold air. Now, that is likely to happen as early as Friday morning. However, the later in the day we go on Friday, the more likely I think we are going to see a little bit of light snow. Now, as far as accumulations go, still too early to talk about specifics with that, but I'm not anticipating any super heavy snow for Friday and Saturday. As we head into Saturday night and into Sunday, though, there's a possibility that that could change. Like I said, we're just a little bit too far out to get into too, too much detail, but here's what we know right now. Active pattern will begin Thursday night. Light snow for Friday in the first half of the weekend. A chance for some heavier snow will come Saturday night to Sunday before we switch over to rain. We'll keep you updated on this part of the forecast as things evolve in the week ahead.